how much I love my job. Um, I realise this morning how much I like my, my job. Um, sorry. Dear Daniela, sorry to have sent this by email. No words can express how I feel about this, but we have to follow the law. There were eight of us who had concerns about it and, and didn't want the vaccine. I think four of us are leaving, just like me. Um, they had their reasons. They, someone else was crying again that, look, I, I have to pay my rent. I can't. I'm forced to take this. I'm not an anti-vaxxer just because I, I had every single vaccination until this one. Um, I even had the flu jab. Um, I got a bad reaction, but, but nevertheless, I did have it. Um, and with this one, um, I had to think about it because it didn't feel like, it's a, like the other vaccine. With the other vaccines, um, they're not mandated, but with the COVID vaccine, this one is mandated now. And I have to think more carefully. Um, since they made it a law, I have to um, consider it and I can make my own choice with the other ones as well. But this one, I'm losing my job over it, so I have to um, think about it. I don't understand the reasons why now I'm considered more dangerous than I was before. Because before, none of um, the staff were vaccinated and the residents and we dealt with in very hard circumstances with what we knew and how we knew to cope best and I didn't have I didn't have the virus and I didn't have immunity before so now after months after nine months uh, and most of the residents now are vaccinated so already um, they're you know they're protected from me already um, I have now a build-up response, so I should be able not to transmit, um, less be able to transmit, um, and with natural immunity, I should be safer around. So the reasons I don't understand why they will say that I'm more dangerous now than before.